anyway, we're gonna have fun today, folks. <laughs> hey, this brings a kid back out of me. I love doing this right here. So let's get with it. I'm gonna put my glasses on where I can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Yep. There he is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a, oh my gosh. Look at here, what a cropping. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at what a cropping. This is what kidding. Oh, this is a bonus tree right here. I caught it. I caught him. Look at that. Look what a crappie. Uh, folks, let me take these glasses. Oh, I can't take them off. I got my crop. I got my hands full, folks. <laughs> Can y'all hear that? Son, there's a big bullfrog over there. I mean, he talking. There's nothing over there. <laughs> hey, talking back and forth. Hello, folks. Welcome to Rocky Drake Outdoors. I'm Rocky Drake today. I'm at a small lake right here. It's got some great big giant bluegill in it and shellcracker. And there's some good crappie in here and some great big bass. And what I'm fishing with today, I'll show you right here. Look here. I went and bought me some night crawlers. Yep. They say there's 18 Canadian night crawlers in this box right here. And I went to Walmart and got it. And I also got me some red worms. Freshly dug, you see. So that's what I'm gonna be fishing with today. Try to catch these panfish. And I'm gonna take a few of them home. Me and my wife, Angela, we're gonna maybe have a little fish fry. This is a little neighborhood lake right here. And uh, another thing too, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna speak very loud. I'm gonna talk real soft today because around this lake right here, everybody got a dog. And if I get one dog to barking, they all start barking. So it's just like a chain reaction around this lake. So I'm gonna speak kind of softly and uh but anyway today i'm fishing with my ultralight rod and reel i'll show y'all right here this little here ducket see right there a little ducket rod crappie slayer rod it's five and a half foot it's lightweight and i'm gonna be fishing without any kind of weight just a hook right here see that just a hook no weight and i'll show you why i'm gonna do that in just a minute i've got 10 pound braid on here crappie braid and i've got i've got a leader tied on six pound test I know it's a little heavy for a panfish, but I could get a hold of one of these big bass and I, <laughs> I want to be able to do something with them. Okay. Now, folks, it's impossible to do this without getting your fingernails dirty. So, pardon the dirty fingernails. Now, so, I'm going to get me a night crawler out here and look. Oh, good Lord. A bunch of night crawlers in there. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to hook them. I want you to look at that horrible night crawler. Okay. It's important now to keep these worms. And these night crawlers in a shady area while you're fishing because if you don't, they'll draw, they'll shrivel up on you. I'm just gonna hook them right in the middle, just like that right there. Okay, now this is where I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna start at this floating dock right here. I'm gonna go out toward it's a pretty good sized dock, and I'm gonna go out here and flip flip this uh <laughs> this night crawler out there toward the end of it and see what we can catch. I'm gonna fish this a little bit and then I'm gonna work my way around the bank here. I know where some big shell cracker bluegill beds are. We're gonna go down there and get on some. Uh-oh, something's got it. There he is. Don't you look right here. Look at here. Look here, what a crop. Oh my God. Oh, I mean, he's going on the stringer for sure. Look at this, what a big old crop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh Lord, look. Big old pretty crappie. Don't you look what I caught him. Yep. Now it's got this night crawler hooked right in the middle of this number two hook right here. And that way, let me show you what it does. See, when you drop it in the water, you see how clear that water is? Can you see that now? See how it does? It kind of just flutters down. Just flutters down. And plus, it's got a little wiggle to it, so. so right out there toward the end of it. That night crawler is just slowly falling. See, I'm not using a weight or anything. If I had a weight, see, it would, it would drop a lot quicker. And those fish would have less time to look at it. But it just softly floating down like that. It entices those fish to hit bite a little bit better, I think. It's about, best I can tell, it's about six, seven foot deep right here. There he is right there. Look at here. 
What have we got? Oh, Lord. Getting ready to go. Look here. Don't y'all look here. Look at here. What a shell cracker. Mm hmm. I'm talking about a whopper daddy. Look at that. I want to show y'all this thing right here. And look at that big. Look at that. Oh, Lord. Look at that. Tell you what's a lot of fun. These worm feeding in. Okay. I'm gonna go over on that other side in just a minute, but I, first of all, I want to uh, fish this again because <laughs> I done caught two crappie and a shell cracker right here. Show sure that. One thing I do when I fish around ponds and creeks and tell you, I, I get in a little backpack like this right here. I carry it with me on my back and uh, put my stuff in. You know, you put your, put your worms in there. And you got all kinds of little apartments in there. <clears throat> most important thing is, is that right there put that in there and, uh, you just carry weed works good okay now i'm gonna work my way on around uh, around the bank here and uh, i know a great big bluegill bed one thing you need when you're gonna do that is a good pair of polarized sunglasses right here see and that way you can see it takes a glare out of the water and you can see down in there you can see them beds and then beds that them bluegill and shellcracker are in, they're about as big as a dinner plate. And you gotta get this little, you gotta get that, that worm right in the middle of it in a spot about that big around. So anyway, so it's important to be able to see those beds. Another thing too, when you fish around creeks and around, fish around lakes, it might be a good idea to, look at that, bring you some rubber boots. I seen a big old bass right here a while ago. I may, uh, I may, I may, I probably won't be able to get him out of there with his little flimsy pole. But I'm gonna put a knot crawler on. I'm gonna throw it right out there in the middle of that. Uh, and lily pads. Let's see what happens. Show me. There he is. Uh oh. Oh yeah, we got one. Good and tight. What do we got? What is that? Oh, look here, boy, nice bass. On this ultralight, I don't even know if I can get him in or not. <laughs> nice fish, fishing with worms. Oh, look at here, what a, boy, it's a skinny bass. <laughs> He's skinny. He's a good one, though. Oh, look here. Yep. Oh, look right, look at that. Big old long skinny bass right there. Caught him with another little worm, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yep. All right, that was fun. I come down here to catch me some big, I'm gonna turn this one loose right here. Come down here to catch me some uh, big bluegill here. Go back out in there. And uh, a lot of big bluegill right here. I can just see them on bed, huge. We think to catch some of them. Yep, we think to catch some of them. That old bass is taking his time going back out through there. Big bluegill right here. Fly out in there again, see what happens. We out in there. Swarming out there like piranhas. Oh, there he is. Oh, they come in knocked the snot out of it, I'm telling you. I wouldn't even pay no attention. Look at here. Look at here. Oh my gosh. That thing right there. Don't y'all look at me. I mean, a flat footed big one. Look at that. Uh oh. There he is. Another big one. Oh my gosh. Another big one. Another big one. I'm talking about a flat footed thing. Now, what is this? Oh, this shell cracker right here. Look at here. Oh, yeah. Big red ear sunfish. Look at that. What a shell cracker. Mm hmm. Get this on a stringer, too. Gonna be fine eating. Yep. Ouch. They don't like to hear that strong. Oh, 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 Stop me. Let's 
stuck me right there. And then you just got to wiggle. Oh, that's fine right there, Lord. And I caught that on red worm, so let's see if I can do that again. I'm just watching my line right there. When I get a bite, usually grab it, that line, that slack will come out of that line. Just like this right here. And there he is, another one. There we go. Another one. Now that's another shellcracker. Look at that. They're not a very big one though. I'm gonna turn this one loose. Tell you what, there's a bunch of shellcracker. They seem to be on that in there and the bluegill are a little bit closer. I really kinda wanna catch these shit blue bluegill today. So we'll see. Uh oh. There he is. Oh my gosh, good one too. This looks like a big shell cracker. Or is it? No. Oh yeah, look here, what a shell cracker. My God. You talking about fun now. This is what I'm talking about. I want y'all to look at what a big red eared sunfish. Fine eating two boilers. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna put him on Stringer. Come here, Stringer. I ain't gonna keep many. Just enough to eat. Just enough to eat. Just enough to eat like that. 